Yes, people were saying it's fight week. It is the Tuesday of fight week. Tonight I head down to Leeds, but we're here at the TW1 Boxing Gym. About to get my assault bike session in. Assault bike's normally, you know. I mean, if you know about the assault bike, you know. Uh, so it's all about short, sharp sessions now, explosive work, all the hard work's done. I'm not going to get any fitter in a period of three, four days. So I'm as fit as I possibly can be. Weight's all good. Uh, so time to just uh, assault the assault bike. It's mad on the assault bike. All you gotta do is push yourself to the max. That was around two and a half minutes total. Alright, let's get back on there. So lifestyle, um, it's just my job. It's not got anything to do with staying motivated. I think uh, people can get lazy. Um, I'm just, uh, this is just who I am, this is what I do, this is what I love to do. Uh, it's not just my job, I need to do it for my sanity. So training for me is a uh, therapy, from strength and conditioning to road work, to sometimes even if I'm out of camp and step away from the bag and the boxing and pad work, bag work, I, I'm i just always training. It's just what I do. Uh, so for me, staying motivated is never, uh, I enjoy training. Me being motivated, I think it's just ambition that drives me. There's never been a day where I can't be asked training, ever. And I doubt there ever will be. Today, as you can see, I'm in great shape. Just finished up now. Yeah, salt bite's done. A uh, little short, sh sharp pad session later. Bang, bang. And then that's it. And then I'm off to Leeds, the great city of Leeds. I'm excited to be fighting in Henley Stadium. What a great card. I mean, the Josh Warrington versus Lara fight was thing guys' plans, but it was an entertaining one while it lasted, and I'm sure. Josh Warren is going to get his revenge. Is it repeat or revenge? Um, it's going to be an exciting, exciting card. I mean, a great card to be honest. It's a pleasure to be fighting the city of Leeds. <sighs> Tune in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your face is like, what? I was waiting for Mikey to film, I was like, come on, what did you do? What? Oh, when did you do that? I literally did today. Did you? Yeah. You cheeky girl. I know. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. 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 Like <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more. Big one. <laughs> this is my first time feeding him. How exciting. It's literally like me. Alright, alright, it's coming. 
I'm feeling all right, you know. Like, I feel like the more Eli grows as well, like I'm so distracted by him that I can't even think about the fight. But like I always say, it's not until the night that I genuinely start thinking about the fight, what's happening. I did actually, yesterday, start thinking about the fight and just thinking about like what like how massive it is and how massive every single fight is and just like the, the potential growth and that of like what he's achieving and i literally started to get really nervous and i'm never like that before the fight i'm normally like super chill before the fight um but i'm feeling all right though like when i see how hard he trains and the dedication he puts in i've got no reason to be fearful or to worry or and then i think on the night it's just that i worry for you know the fact that he's in that ring and putting his life at risk because that is what fighters do um but yeah no so i'm feeling all right but come fight night different story so it actually feels like the longest camp ever i mean <clears throat> The last time Connor fought, Eli was 11 weeks. Eli's now seven months. Um, so it has been such a long camp. And yeah, having obviously the COVID in between and having that fight canceled, that was just unbelievable. Like I remember when he called me, I was literally sitting in the hairdressers and he was like, Vic. I was like, he's like, yeah, he's like, can you, can anyone hear you? And I was like, no, he's like, I've just tested positive for COVID. I was like, I thought he was joking because that is something that he would do like he would generally be like fans but no like he genuinely was being serious I was like oh my gosh I was thinking what on earth like what happens now obviously got cancelled is what it is but yeah it was really stressful um, but then you kind of just accept it and just then we obviously had to isolate and Connor got it and then we got it me and Eli got it after and um, like it was about a week later we got it I think and yeah I mean we weren't none of us were that ill um but it still wasn't nice I, it made it I mainly felt like it did feel like a cold it did feel like uh, like the flu but yeah it just wasn't fun and it was so boring I know so many people have done it but yeah, I'm glad that now that's over with and he's managed to make the quickest recovery known to man um, and then get back out and fight in Leeds. So yeah, it's really exciting and cannot wait to go to Leeds. Never been there. So really, really excited for that. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? When shall I do like, house move for the sky and things like that to get like yeah like what what day do you reckon i should like switch it over because i'm yeah yeah so exciting how nice is that Connie is actually a very good cook and he keeps saying to me that he's gonna up his cooking skills um, when he move, when we move in, so I'm expecting some big meals when when we move in. What's today? Today Tuesday. <gasps> Gosh, there's so much to do, but I hope so. I mean, well, everyone's talking like it is, and they're doing late nights and everything, so you know it should be. And we've got to move out of our house, so yeah, it should be done. I mean, there may be like little bits that need doing, but yeah, there are thereabouts. We should be able to be living here when. Just finishes his fight. Yeah, are you excited to move into a new house and have your own bedroom? <gasps> Ooh, are you excited? Are you excited? Are you running?
Definitely business as usual. In the short term, I'll be honest, I was a little bit concerned, but we pulled back, we re-evaluated, and if anyone's seen the pictures on sofas today, Connor's in incredible shape. He uh, hasn't seen any negative effects post-COVID. In fact, his times have improved. He's, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> right. right, so. Tell me about these teas. Yes, when, when's this going out? Uh, probably Thursday. Okay, so. So we have Look, we have crushing it teas coming. They're so sick. Did I show you a picture? No, I didn't see them. I haven't seen them. Haven't seen them. Actual thing, did I? I've heard the good quality as well. Yeah, they're like such good quality. But we'll sort the whole team out. Them. Where oh. is it? Oh, look. But we are launching them. Look. So that's the actual tea. Oh, nice. So sick, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Not that all, all we're going to show? Yeah, no. we can show. Oh, go we on. can show? Yeah, okay. Show. Maybe just take the number up. Oh, yeah. Don't want to show. We've got to do a check weight tomorrow, so we'll see, see where we're at. Connor's in a great okay. place there anyway, as you know. And then Thursday is our S&C taper, so oh, short, okay. sharp, explosive. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got our, you know, we'll find a little bit of weight-making strategy, but again, he's, yeah. as you know, bang he's on point. He's always bang on, though. Yeah, like, come on. on. So, no, that's really exciting. I'm interested to see okay. the hotel. It's meant to be all right. They've just had a 16 mil refurb or something. Oh. Hotel. Where are you staying? I know. What? <laughs> Camp's gone great. It is what it is. Time to get the work done now. Get it. Do the business, which we're going to do. And then that's that. All the hard work pays off Saturday night. Simple as that. Done. Yeah. Um, my wife and my baby understand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. He's trying to put your beard. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to do like pull himself up on the ring. Trying to pull yourself up. Let's do this. Oh, that is a nice car. I hope I get one of like them on the oh, way yeah, up. Yeah. That'd be lovely. I'm literally going to sort it now. Yeah, thank Wait, you. big plug. Is that on? Yeah, yeah. It's my boy. That's my boy's company, Deluso Travel. Bobby, unbelievable. It? Only the best. Best to the best. Best yeah. to the best. This time I'm actually going to see him before the fight because I am going up Saturday during the day. Um, and so I'll be up there early enough to see him before the fight, which is really nice for me. Makes me less emotional. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll see him before the fight. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I'm excited. Do a stop off at some um, point, aren't we? Yeah, so I'll head up Probably. there yeah. Saturday morning. Exciting. Eli. But Eli is staying in Essex. He's not coming. You're going to stay with Nanny, aren't you? And Auntie, Auntie Jade and Nanny. That's what you're doing. This is Eli's second fight. Watching Dad on TV. Eli was tiny last time. He was like 11 weeks. He was so small. Ah, oh, son, I ain't gonna see you. To after the fight. I ain't gonna see you. <gasps> hey. He's gonna look back at all these videos and be like, oh my gosh, I can't yeah. believe that. Like, I was a baby and all that happened. Oh, I know. Thank you. Hey. Like, subscribe, CBTV. Swipe up. <laughs> oh. Are you going to kiss me like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm not going to see you no more till, till Sunday. Eli has no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> You're like up in your feelings, and he's like, I'm up in my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ill. Better safe than sorry. Love you, boy. 
Love you, boy. Love you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need any of like the jumper? Eli's like fully oblivious, just doesn't even understand. But not until you're older will you understand the significance of these moments. But one day, darling, one day.